let's put on our watches. It's sort of a conditioning session. Um, so I'm going to put it on as strength on mine for the sake of my watch for argument's sake. Okay, let's warm up. So as our group PT session, we're going to be working through specifically our hip, glute and calves. Um, it's going to be more of a conditioning session, um, a bit rehabby, a bit sort of getting into the nitty gritty um, exercises that will help uh, strengthen and also uh, work through perhaps weaknesses in those areas that you might experience. Okay, reverse arm circles. So we're still going to warm up the whole body and some shoulder taps. And some hip circles. Pull around. Back the other way. Oh, lots of clicking through my joints. Okay. And then we're going to stand on one leg, hip openers. forwards. And change sides. Three, four, five and forwards. down, squeeze your bum. That's it. Four more. same side for some reason. Okay, my brain obviously shut down momentarily. Knee circles. Back the other way. And ankles. On the other way. And walk out. <sighs> Try out for the body. Down. Why are you? I don't know if I press record on that, did I? No, I did. Good, just checking. I'm just gonna tilt this down on this camera a bit more for a bit more floor recording. Uh, okay, all right. So, um, equipment wise, we're gonna work body weight, hand set dumbbells, hand, and also if we've got any of these thin little bands. Okay, you just need one of them, but I've just got a few different ones near me. If you've got them, we, you can also work without the bands, so don't panic. So first of all, we're going to start with some leg raises. It's also very good for the core. Okay, so you're going to lie down on your backs, okay? And then what I want you to do is tilt your pelvis back. I want you to lift one leg up. 
and then lower under control. So you want to control from your core, you're also using your hip flexor. Okay, so we're staying on one side, we're going to do five of these leg raises. Scooping up. Three, feel like you're really holding the weight of your leg with your hip flexor and your core. It will really, um, strengthening your hip flexors helps with so many things. That's your lifting in general, your squats and deadlifts, but also running. And then over to the other side. So lift up. Draw down. Two. Three, you can feel your core working. <laughs> Four, and five. Okay, now we're going to do a double leg lift now. So this is very much for your core. If you find this too much, please start with your legs bent and do it like this, okay? And do heel tap. We're going to start with our legs extended if you feel that you can. Scoop your pelvis back, lift up and then lower under control. Up, we're just doing five, that's two. Really feel your core, good control there, well done. Three. Four. Five. Okay, give yourself a bit of a break. You probably feel that in your abs and your hip flexors there. Okay, now we're going to go to side leg raises. So, introducing your little uh, band. Okay, put round your ankle, uh, put your feet inside. Okay, and you're going to um, put them just around above your ankle bone. Okay, you're going to lie on your side. It's a proper old, old fashioned exercise. I've done for these for a while. So bend the lower leg, just for a bit of stability. Tilt your heel down, and this is also gonna work your glute nicely. That's it, lifting up. Good, so feel the tension of that band. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. We're going to ten, I didn't say. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> I think I've done a funny count. I'm going to do one more and then take a little rest. So you can really feel that, put it right into your like, nickelai and hip flexor there. Um, pant one, should I say. Be a gents amongst you, initial weighing your nickels as well. Who knows? Right, <laughs> okay. So bringing your foot back. Okay, we're going to do another ten. Same exercise. One, two, three, four, five, five more, four, I wish I had just said five now, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest, give the leg a little bit of a slap. Let's go over to the other side. Okay, making sure your band's in the right place. Okay, all right, get yourself comfy. So, there you go, that's better. Right, let's go. One, two, three. It'd be almost relaxing lying down if it wasn't so much hard work. <laughs> five, five more. One, two, three. Four, five. Glutey hippies, poor things. Okay, right, let's go again. Another ten. One to make it even. <laughs> Two, three. If you flex your toe, you get a bit more work in your hip flexor. 
I can't even count five more. It's hurting. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five. Ouchie, ouchie. <laughs> okay. All right. So now you're going to put the band around your feet. So over your trainers, okay? So I'm just trying to unravel it. All right. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull in and extend and then do again. So you're gonna do extensions on one side, holding this leg up, three, like that. So try and keep that vertical, I'm just to keep myself in the mirror for the position four, five, let's go to 10. So you're trying to push and hold at the same time. So you're using your core, extending, you should feel it in the hip flexor working. One more. And then you need to change around feet. So bringing the other leg in, try and get it at right angles, then extend the other foot. One, two, three. Good, try and lower your heel a fraction to make that right angle. Four. Five, push away. Six. It's very focused on your core as well. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And hug in. Just to relieve those muscles for a moment. Hug your knees in. Okay. So we're going to do one more round of those. Okay, so we're going to get do five on either side. Okay, so extend first leg away. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Change legs. One, two, three. Oh, I realised I was cheating a bit there. Try and keep the right angles. Four, five, and rest. Okay. So internal rotation and external rotation with the hips. So now having the, the band exactly where it is, so it's still round your trainers over your laces. Plant your feet on the floor with your knees um, facing upwards. And now I want you to take your trainers out to the side. So you're turning your feet into like a penguin pose and then bringing them back in. So you're sort of gliding on, uh, um, on top of the floor, off the floor, so just above the floor. So you're rotating out, okay? So all the way out, and then you can do um, that to start. So we're just doing external rotation. You want to really feel like you're working against your outer hips and opening up and squeezing. And one more will be 10. Okay, and then for the external rotation, it's a bit harder to do. Uh, sorry, in, um, um, spit it out, Alice, because uh, of the weight. You want to turn your heels out. So you push, so you want to pull your band a bit more down towards going over your heels, okay? So here, plant your feet down and then turn your um, toes so they're toe pointing together and you're turning your heels away this time. So you're working your heels outwards, yeah? It's quite a subtle move, but you can really feel it work into your gro groin and hip area. Six. It's a very small movement, but I can really feel it. So you've got your toes together and you're rotating out, pushing out your ankles. So you're sticking your heels outwards, working against the band. Nine, 10. Okay, all right. So now we're gonna do um, glute bridge. So um, putting your band up over your leg, up to your, uh, just um, above your knee, okay. All right, so from here, we're going to scoop up the belly, up we come, one, and then lower. 
Okay, so you're st scooping up two, three. We do ten of these, there's just normal ones. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Next 10, we're going to come up to the top. We're going to take our knees out and squeeze and then lower. Okay, so scooping up, knees out, bring back the knees, fold down too. So up, knees out and squeeze and lower. Up, out. Good. These are really good to do before running as well. Just really wake up your hips and glutes. I think that's seven. I might have miscounted. Never mind, go with my count. <laughs> right, keep the bridge high when you're doing your knees open. One more. Well done. Okay, good stuff. All right, so keeping your fan where you are. We're going to come to all fours and you're going to do your kick ups. So you're still keeping your band on your thighs. Okay, I'm just going to shuffle my mat forward a bit. That's it. Okay, so on all fours. Okay, so we're gonna, you wanna try and keep tabletop position the whole time, because you'll want to tilt. So you've gotta resist that. So tummy on, you're gonna extend the leg up and keeping that bend to, that's it, three. Good, perfect. Four, five, six. Try not to arch your back. Seven, eight. Nine, ten. Place that knee down. Take a breath. Reset. Other side. One. Oh, I'm finding my bands rotated there. That's it. Two. Three. Try not to lean. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, good position, nine, ten. I'll take a rest. We're gonna do another ten of these, okay, on either side. Okay. Actually, hang on a minute, I'm just wondering. Let's do fire hydrants instead. Okay, so we do ten fire hydrants. So what you want to do is, is if you're cocking your leg like a dog, okay, so band where it is. I'll jump to these because I think they're a great addition right at this point. Let's go, so out to the side, one. Try not to tilt over, two. You feel it working in the hip, three, glute, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change sides. It's a bit tilting there for me, just trying to correct myself. Let's go, out to the other side, one. Try to lean over the back the other way, two. I'm just gonna shuffle this way a moment because I'm hitting my weight. <laughs> Three, four, push out that hip. Five, six, put it in the core. Seven, good. Eight, try to keep chest open. Nine, 10. Woo, okay, all right. Good work. Right, so we're going to do a little bit on our calf muscles. Okay. All right. So, um, we'll do calf raises. Uh, no point in having the band on. Actually, take your band off for these. So, pick up a nice set, um, heavy set dumbbells. We will do some more banded work. So, leave them nearby shortly. Okay. So, we're going to... That's it, I'll wait for you to get your weights, well done. Okay, so 
Shoulder width apart, we're going to come up onto our toes. Don't splay outwards and lower. So up, lower. So try and feel that you're flexing up through into your top of your toes and then rolling down, articulating through those toe joints. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nice and steady, nine, ten. Okay, we're going to do 20 pulses now. So we're going to go one, two, like that. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Woo! Okay, that's hard, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to do single leg calf raises now. Okay, if you want to use a wall to support yourself, then please do. Okay, um, I might have to do that. I'm going to see how I get on. I'm going to try and do it. So we're going to do, for start off, we'll do five and five, okay? So five on one foot. Ready? Let's go. This is my recovery leg, so it's quite hard for me to get up. Two. So just on one leg. You can use your other leg tap to balance me. Two, three, four, five. Change sides. Just don't have the... Uh, length of muscle there. One, it will come back if I do this. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. So back to the original leg. I might actually just move my mat a minute. You carry on, I'll catch up and rest. A solid floor might be easy for me to do it on. Ready, let's go. One, cool, my balance. Two, Three, it's very hard. Four, five, other side. One, I would do them ten. If you want to do ten, to in te add ten intensity to your workout at home, please do. I love stick with fives. <laughs> Three, four, five, other side. Come on, Alice. Back to your original. Oop, one. Two, three, four, five. Back the other way. It was really very pants version on mine there. Two, three, four. Ah! <laughs> I've lost concentration. Five. Okay, let's go back to pairs. All right. If you find them as hard, let's go up to 20 to singles. So 20 in pairs, sorry, but not pulses. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, so fully flex up and through. Two, amazing how reliant my left leg is on the other leg. It's, it feels totally normal doing it in doubles, but um, obviously it's not working as it can or should. Five, five more. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, good stuff. Okay, so what you can do is do calf raises like this as well in the bent position. So you don't need any weights. Hold on to something if you want your balance. So you, and then you're going to go up. You're flexing through the calf. Two, three, four, five. Six, good. Seven, it's really hard for me. Eight, <laughs> that's good. Nine, challenging. Ten, okay, change feet around. Okay, here we go, up, whilst bent, that's it. Two, 
Feel that flex and stretch as you put the heel down on the back foot. Shortening, lengthening. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And rest. Shake that out. Whew, that's tough. But it's good. We're going to go back and do one more round on either leg of those. Okay? So go back to your first foot, um, first leg position. Okay? We're going to bend. Okay? And then we're going to go up one and then extend. So you might be able to just put your back heel down easily. I can't, but I'm going to try. Six, seven, eight, it's trembling, <laughs> nine, ten, and then change. Feel the same way round. Ready? So you're blowing that up. One, two, it's a really good workout for your, these lower leg muscles, your calves, your ten, um, Achilles. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Okay. Well done. Good stuff. Okay. So we're going to just finish with some clams, um, which I should have done earlier. We'll just do those. I know we did them in the bridge, but we'll just do them uh, down the floor. One more round before we finish. Okay. So popping. Your band back on. Um, sorry. Okay, so bring it up to your thigh. Okay. Okay, and then you're going to lie down and you're going to keep your soles of your feet together. You're going to take your thighs out and squeeze. So you're doing clams whilst keeping your bottom down. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more to finish. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and rest. Well done. Good work. Okay, let's do a nice stretch. Okay, so if you want to stick your leg up, just a nice stretch through. And release, other side. Okay, and crossing one leg over, bring you in. These sort of slower, more precise precision sessions are really worth building into your routine. So it's not all just strength and cardio you actually do some improvement work on your existing muscles so that they can actually keep up with all the other fun bits you want to do. Okay, and then we're just doing for our hip flexor, leaning at the back, stepping forward, open your hip, up go your hands. And then change. Take it hit. Up we go. Well done. And then release. Up we come. 